I would like to introduce Edge Work Replacer today. So Edge Work Replacer is a, a Chrome Web extension that you can find on Chrome Web Store. Um, visit this page and type in Edge Work Replacer. It will lead you to installation page. After you install it, um, you can open the UI uh, where you uh, can type uh, some values that you want to search on web page. Uh, and some values that you want to um, to update. So now um, let's take an example. Um, I have this uh, article and I want to search for edge work and monthly uh, and I suddenly I want it to uh, insensitive uh, to match with uh, insensitive case. So I unclick it and click on highlight. So you can see that um, the work is highlighted with the background uh, we have in this, this one. Um, now, um, if I want to replace the text, I will simply click on replace button. But yeah, you can see that uh, it work was replaced by my work and Monty uh, is replaced by MTES. Um, another use case uh, I see that people are using a um, to um, to update works um, in their translation. So here, uh, if you visit Reddit and try to search at work replacer, you can see that people uh, are using it with the uh, uh, untranslated web novel. Um, so you know that some novel in Chinese or uh, in another uh, no uh, non English language, if people want to read it. Um, they, they need to translate with Google Translate or Bing Translate and in that case um, the machine translation version is incorrect and um, to make it more accurate and easy to read and understand they use it will replacer to update the, uh, the translated version. Um, yeah, so now come back to um, Another very important feature that it will replace a have is um, to you with regular expression. So what is regular expression? In the case we want to search and replay the, uh, you can see that the, uh, the exact uh, work here is quite easy. However, in the case that you don't know what is possible value uh, of the of the thing you are looking for. For example, um, if I ask you to find all possible email address in the post article, it is quite a challenge, right? Because the email address can be um, can be anywhere on the on the page, and it's not very easy to recognize them um, um, in just uh, in just a few a couple of seconds. So the easiest way with it work replacer is to use regular expression. So firstly, you need to click on it. And second, you need to prepare um, a, a request that work with, with email. For example, the one I, uh, I, I, uh, I got from Google, uh, for example, if you find something like request for email, then Google will return to you with some possible, okay, maybe uh, regret for email validation. Yeah, so it will uh, return to you with a few options for email validation, uh, uh, for email regrets. Um, so after you get it, you input the regrets into this one, and you highlight, click on highlight. Yeah. So um, with the color, we have the background color we have for the regret. We can easily to recognize it from the web page. Yeah. Two, three, four, five. Yeah. Um, so using regrets, um, you can, for example, um, um, not only email address, but for example, if I want to look in uh, to look for IP address, possible IP address. Um, similarly, I need to prepare the regrets that work with IP address. For example, I have one here, 
and now I want to in the CVE I want to find all possible IP addresses that uh, may uh, that may interesting uh, uh, to me. Um, so I click on the triggers and I also click on highlight. Yeah. Now I just scroll down. Okay, I see one, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, I see a few, a couple of IP addresses. Continue scroll down. Yeah. So that is how um how regress and it will replace have you to detect um, a stream that you know not is that value but any possible value uh, that uh, that satisfies uh, the pattern you define um, another important feature is to replay so for example um, I have zip uh, zip base and I have um, 10 random IP address so you can see that zip one is an input, an a touch area, but not a, a work like this. So you can see that the, the difference is zip one is for input, and zip one is for display, uh, for touch, right? So now if I want to search for IP address, <coughs> if I if I highlight it, it will work for what visualize to you here, but it will not work for input because input is not defined for um, you know, it's not designed for uh, for highlighting or something uh, like that, for formatting. So if I highlight, yes, you can see that only the IP address uh, here uh, highlighted. And now if I want to replay, replace will work in if you click on input and touch area, if you enable it, um, if I disable it and replay, nothing happened. Um, but if I click on input and touch area and I will I want to replay with it uh, and click on replay yeah it will replay everything by uh, the touch I want um, so um, yeah um, another another feature is to use raw HTML um, so here is one use case so you 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 can see that um, here is a paragraph and here is a head title. Um, if I want to change the paragraph to head title, how can I do that? Um, with it work replacer, firstly, you can select, uh, you need to define what is a paragraph and what is a head title. For example, head title of level four and the closing task for this one. After I click on two of them and click on draw as the email, so draw as the email is not recommended in most of use case. So at, uh, um, therefore, after you use it, uh, remember to uncheck it to make sure that you will uh, experience uh, the attention in the best way. Um, but in this case, I know what I need to do. So I click on draw as the email and I replace it. Yeah, you can see that everything uh, now it in no more paragraph but uh, had title level four. Okay, thank you for uh, watching me today. Unclick.